I don't know, I just can't remember the last time I did an all matte look. I feel like I just need sparkle and shimmer at all times. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel on this very gloomy, rainy February day. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for clicking on this month's makeup rotation. I am super excited because I feel like I've been playing with these products for so long. Before we rotate the makeup, let's chat about some of my favorite products from January, some of my not so favorite products from January. Okay, so this is kind of what I was working with. Some random stuff ended up in here as always. First, I have to talk about this concealer because I promised I would and I just want to. This NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I still stand by every single comment I made about it in the video I did with this concealer. It was kind of hard for me to use my other concealers from January because I was like wanting to use this all the time. What else? this bronzer, the Tower 28 um, Bronzino. I have the shade West Coast, obsessed with it. And it's funny because I had this for basically all of 2021 and I only used it a few times. And I feel like I've used this like so many times in January, at least like four times a week, honestly. And I was actually keeping track for a while on my product usage. And I just did that kind of at the beginning of January, just to make sure I had a good flow going, a good rotation going with all of the products, and then I wasn't using just one product too many times. Next thing that I absolutely loved, this palette, the ColourPop Blush Crush Palette. I love this so much. And every time I wore this shade right here and pop a bottle, it's like a really pretty glittery glitter topper shade. Every time I wore it in a video, which I think was like only once or twice, <laughs> every time I wore it, but I wore it like once or twice and I got so many comments being like, what's on your eyes? What is that sparkly shade? So it's just so pretty, so unique. It gives such a pretty like shimmer to your eyes. It's so beautiful. Even if you just have like a brown shade all in your crease and then you put that on top, it's like the perfect little shimmery, glittery shade. It's so beautiful. So I've been really enjoying this palette also perfect for Valentine's Day, which makes me want to keep it in for February. Okay, last thing I want to talk about is kind of random, but it's this Nabla Cupid's Arrow Eyeliner. I've been using this in so many different ways. I will use it for my eyebrows, so I'll take a angled pencil and just kind of like pick some up and do my eyebrows with it. And I find it's actually a really good shade for my eyebrows. So I've been really enjoying this. It's like super multi-purpose. You could also use this as a base if you're doing like a smoky eye or something. You can just like run that brown all over your eyelid. So surprisingly, I have been using this almost every day. So I'm really glad I pulled it out because this is a product I don't get that much use out of. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I guess I should talk about products I just didn't use that much. Um, oh, this kind of like ran out, so there's that. Despite deleting so many pictures and videos just now, my memory card still said it had insufficient storage. So where was I? I think I was talking about my brow gel. Well, I don't know where it is now, but I basically used up my Glossier Boy Brow in clear that I had. It like wasn't doing anything to my brows. It wasn't setting them anymore. So there was just no more product in the tube, I guess. So that is going to my empties. I don't know. I really loved everything this month. I don't think there's anything I didn't like. I'm kind of ready to use up these mascaras because I feel like I've had them for a long time. I feel like I should probably throw these away soon, but they're still like going strong. I really thought I was going to finish this one this month, but there's still product on there. So now I'm going to go ahead and put all of this stuff back into my makeup organizer and then we will go ahead and pick products for February. All right, so let's start down here with complexion products. And this month I want to use my Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen. Then we'll do, I kind of want to do this too, even though it's like a very similar type of product. 
but I don't know, we'll just pull both. And then for concealer, I wanna do my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I think I pulled this like two months ago or something. It just feels very recent, but as you can see, I'm kind of making good progress and I just would like to use this up very soon, so. And then I know I'm gonna regret not really having any hydrating concealers, so I'm thinking I should just take one out. Even though it's quite a few base products out here, but we'll just do my Glossier Stretch Concealer as well in case, I don't know, I just want more of a light coverage hydrating concealer. Next up is blushes, and you know we have to do it for Valentine's Day. We have to do the color pop blush in my type. I am so sad. I think they, I don't know if they discontinued it, but they have so many of these blushes on the ColourPop website and not this one. Um, and they have some of the old ones too, like the older shades from last year's collection, but they took this one out of the collection, I think, which is so sad because I love this blush so much, but we had to do it for Valentine's Day. And then I think the uh, Glossier Cloud Paint and Beam will be good for like a more of a peachy blush in case I don't want to do like a super bright pink. You know, we'll do two pink blushes. I'm going to take this one out as well. We just have to. It's February. So this is the Romand blush in Blueberry Chip. It's a very pretty kind of baby pink. The other pink blush I pulled out is a hot pink. So we'll just have two options. And then for bronzer, I don't think I'm quite ready to do this butter bronzer. I used it a few times last month and it was just a little bit too warm for this time of year. I think I'm gonna do the Fenty Beauty bronzer in Into Sun. I feel like I used this very, very recently, but um, I just really like it for the winter time and months where I'm a little bit paler. And then I kinda wanna do this. I haven't really pulled this ever, I don't think. I like to use this for travel, but I just for some reason don't use it in my everyday makeup. It's a blush and highlighter stick from Wander Beauty. So I'll take this out just so I have a highlighter option and another blush option. So even though I said I was going to do less this month, we still ended up with like four blushes, but. Okay, so for eyeshadow palettes, I really wanna use this Pure Exo Nabella Embrace Your Face palette, but these are just really pretty everyday eyeshadows for me. Um, let's do this ColourPop quad. Sorry, you can like barely hear me. Let's do this ColourPop quad in Cream Soda. This has a little bit more of the lighter mattes and lighter eyeshadows that the Pure Exo Nabella palette doesn't have. Yeah, I see the matte in here just a little bit darker, so I feel like these mattes will be good and I can use that glitter topper. And then maybe one more. I feel like this palette also kind of screams Valentine's Day. This is the M Cosmetics Divine Skies eyeshadow palette in uh, Magic Hour. Very, very beautiful. Okay, then I think I will do this Etude eyeshadow in the shade Muscle Mania. Really, really love this and I just want to play around with it more. And then I think that's it for here. I'm gonna go pick out my mascaras and brow gels to show you guys, and then I will put all of this back into my organizer. So here's what I picked. For a clear brow gel, this is the Essence Clear Mascara slash brow gel. Then for a little eyebrow tint, this is the Merit Beauty eyebrow gel, and I think I just have the shade brown. And then here are my two mascaras. This is the much loved M Cosmetics Mascara. And then this is the Nabla Major Pleasure Mascara. I love these colors together. Is that why I chose them? Maybe. <laughs> Packaging really affects me, okay? So here is all of the February makeup I picked out. And then I just threw in some random lip products. I kind of reach into my lip product bin as I kind of see fit for the day. I just, whatever lip product I feel like wearing, I will grab from there, but I did pull a few out just to have some options on hand. So this is the Kaja Love Swipe in the shade Sweet Softy, Tower 28 Gloss in Spicy, the Dior Lip Gloss in, I think it's 630. Yeah, 630. Merit Beauty Pink Beat Lip Oil, and then the Pure Chubby Stick to go along with the Pure Palette, and this is in the shade Shandori, and then the Revlon Glass Shine Lipstick in Glossed Up Rose. So I'm gonna go put these back into my organizer. Thank you. 
Hey guys, I'm back. It is the next day. It's a beautiful sunny day. So I'm so ready to do this get ready with me. I have my pink on for February, my heart earrings. I just, I'm so ready to do my makeup and just get in the Valentine's Day spirit. So a little tiny update since yesterday, I added this blush, the Serum Drops blush from M Cosmetics in the shade Venetian Rose. I always forget about these because I store them in a different place from my other blushes. So I'm just throwing this one in here for the month. We have a lot of blushes, but it's okay. Now I'm going to show you guys how I would do a typical daily look using the products I picked for February. This is rattling around a lot. I'm gonna start with the Tower 28 Sunny Days SPF Foundation. I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand and then just dot it on my face. This product gives such a nice natural glow while still looking like skin-like and it's just so beautiful. Next up, I'm going to go in with my Glossier Stretch Concealer. I think this is literally the only thing in my collection that I have hit pan on at the moment. And maybe it's just the way I use these. I always just like really dip my sponge in there and then put it on kind of like this. So I guess it uses up a lot of product, but I've gone through so many of those concealers. It's just a really great everyday natural concealer. It doesn't give a ton of coverage, but I like using that one, especially in the spring and summertime because, and winter, honestly, when my skin's dry, but that's just a product I like to use like as an all over base in the spring and summer. I don't know, I just wear, I guess, lighter makeup in the spring and summertime usually, so. And then I'm going to use a little bit of this e.l.f. concealer just to cover up the veins on my eyelids and prep them for eyeshadows. I could use the Glossier one, but you know, I'm trying to get use out of all of my products here. But next I'm gonna do some bronzer. My little Fenty Beauty bronzer here in Inda Sun. And this is just a really big fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics. I wish they still had this set because it was like $12 or $15 for like 10 brushes or it might be 12 brushes. They It was like an insane deal and they're so pretty like rose gold and white, but I can't find them ever. So it must've been like a one time thing, but I'm just gonna do a little bit of bronzer on my cheeks and my forehead. Okay, and then we have to use this heart blush this month. This is the ColourPop Press Powder Blush in my type. This kind of just reminds me of Barbie, like a Barbie pink, but it just looks so beautiful on the cheeks and I'm mad they don't have it anymore, but I guess I'll just need to find a dupe. I'm really considering getting the Dior blush in pink. It's a little bit pricey, but I don't know, I might get it. I really, really want it. <laughs> I know it's kind of come and gone. It was really popular. I think a few months ago and I feel like everyone was reviewing it and finding dupes for it and stuff, but it just looks so pretty. Maybe once I hit pan or finish another blush, I'll get that blush, which I don't know when I'm gonna finish a blush in my collection, but that will definitely motivate me. It just looks so pretty. I really want that blush, but anyway, back to the blush. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this blush on. Just look how pretty that is. And I'm using the same brush. <laughs> I don't know why. This is just how I usually do my makeup. I can't get enough pink blush, so it's fine. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna dip into this Nabella palette, the Pure XO Nabella palette, into the shade Misty Rose. It's like a sparkly pretty pink, and I'm just gonna do kind of a little bit on each cheek. Just another layer of pink, you know? So now that we have all the blush on, <laughs> I'm going to do some highlighter and I think I'm gonna use the Wander Beauty highlighter because I haven't used that in a very long time, like since last summer really. So this is a little stick here and on one side there's a highlighter, the other side there's a blush. This is in the shade Nude Glow. And I'm just gonna kind of tap this on my cheekbones. I just prefer to use this highlighter when I'm a little more tan. I mean, it works, it doesn't look, it's not like shadowy or anything, but I don't know, it's just more of like a bronzy highlight color on me, so I just like using it in the summertime. So next up for eyes, I wanna start with this ColourPop Quad in Cream Soda. I really like these mattes, so I'm just gonna do some of these. Just all over my lid, kinda dipping into both of them here. Then 
again from the Divine Skies eyeshadow palette. I feel like we have to go pink. We have to. I think this one's in the shade Magic Hour, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure, but it's just like a really pretty pink eyeshadow. I'm just gonna put that on the center of my eyelids. It's like a pinky gold. Then I'll blend that out a little bit. Not too much though, because I want to keep a lot of that shimmer and pigment there, but that looks really nice. So then I'm going to take some of this glitter topper in the ColourPop quad right here, and I'm just gonna press that all over the top of this eye look. Beautiful. I just feel like an eye look is not complete without something super sparkly nowadays. I don't know, I just can't remember the last time I did an all matte look. I feel like I just need sparkle and shimmer at all times. Um, I'm gonna take this other shade in here, this kind of like goldy champagne shade, and I'm gonna put that on my inner corners. I hope this works as an inner corner highlight. That definitely worked. Wow, I like that. So I think to finish this look off, I'm just gonna take some of the two mattes again in the cream soda palette and just run them under my lower lash line, just a tiny bit. And since it's open, I'm gonna mix in a little bit of my bronzer too. So next up, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'm just gonna take some of my eyebrow pencil and go really close to my lash line here. Sometimes I do this just to give it a little more um, I don't know, depth. Just to look like my lash lines, a tiny bit fuller. This is in the shade medium brown, so it's not a super dark pencil or anything, but now I'm going to lightly fill in my brows. And then today I wanna use this Essence Brow Gel on my eyebrows. Of course, just get them nice and tamed and fluffy. And then we're almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and put on this M Cosmetics mascara and we will be back for the lips. I don't know why I'm talking like this. <laughs> okay, so now for the lips, I think I wanna do a combination of these two. So this is the Purexo Nabella Chubby Stick in Shindori. It's just like a really pretty nude pinky mauve color, I'd say. And then over top of that, I'm going to do the Revlon Glass Shine Lipstick in Glossed Up Rose. It's gonna add a little bit more pink and some shine. And there you have it. This is a typical look I would do using all of the products I picked for February. I know it seems like a lot of these looks are the same, but you know, when it comes to day-to-day -to -day makeup, this is just kind of what I do, so thank you guys so much for watching this video and for loving my makeup rotation series. It really means a lot to me. It makes me happy that you guys really look forward to these videos every month. Make sure to give this video a like if you did enjoy it and to subscribe if you are not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone. <laughs>